This is insanity. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we are making apple pie in 90 seconds. It's gonna be low calorie, low carb, low sugar, low everything, but it's gonna have all the flavor. Let's do this, let's do this. Tell me this, have you ever tried making apple pie without apples? No? That's my magic trick. This is my magic trick, guys. <laughs> this is one of those recipes where you're just gonna trust the process. I've made a full-blown apple pie before with this and it turned out 10 out of 10. The filling literally tastes like you're eating apples. It's crazy. You're probably thinking, well, what in the world are you gonna use, Myra? So how many of you know what this is? Before I go on, comment down below and let me know if you've ever seen this, if you know what it is, and if you've ever tried it. Okay, so now that you've commented, <laughs> this is called a chayote. So this is a, um, it's a veggie, and it is a very, very bland flavor. It'll take on any flavors um, that you add to it. So in this case, we're of course gonna do butter and cinnamon. I'm gonna show you right now how we're gonna make this, but just to um, you know, kind of speed up the process, I already went and cut it up. As you can tell, this looks like a green apple. Just remember, in our brain, in our head, this is apples but it's chayote. But let's go over to the stove. We are gonna make our apple pie filling. I'm gonna do it in this one here so that you can actually see the whole process. I feel like if I do it in a saucepan, it's kind of difficult. We're gonna do butter. We're gonna do cinnamon. And by the way, the chayote, if you don't know where to buy it, I grabbed this at my local Ralph's, which is also like Kroger. It's called chayote. So I'll leave the name here, chayote, right here. You could even screenshot it and show the show the produce people at the store like, do you know where I can find this? Um, it's worth it though. Seriously, it's worth it because if you're gonna have like apples, I love apples, okay? Let's not get it twisted. I love apples, love it with peanut butter. If you're making apple pie from scratch and you're having the apples plus all the added sugar, you're having a lot of carbs and a lot of sugar and a lot of calories. So I'm gonna do our butter. The whole point of cooking this stove top is to really soften the chayote. So this is kind of like apple texture. We're gonna soften this baby up. So this will take about four minutes to like really just kind of soften up. You can make a bigger batch because I'm telling you it's absolutely delicious. Once you have this done and you have it stored in your fridge, we are literally gonna throw this together in 90 seconds. I feel like it's awesome to have something like this where you can literally just boom, 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 toss it and then you can have like a quick dessert after dinner. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my sweetener. So you're just gonna add in your sweetener of choice always. I mean, I'll leave linked what I use, which is just like an alley loaf. Then we have cinnamon. Apple pie has a good amount of cinnamon. That's what's gonna give you that, like that apple pie flavor. This here has your butter, it has sweetener, it has cinnamon, and that is exactly the flavor profile of apple pie. And then just a little teeny tiny bit of vanilla. And now we're gonna let this simmer and you're gonna see how this is magically gonna turn into an apple pie filling. So I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice. We're just gonna let it thicken up a tiny bit more. And this is starting to look beautiful. Just to kind of help it out a little, I'm gonna mash it. Cause I do wanna get like, I want it to get nice and thick. So that's gonna simmer. Meanwhile, we're gonna make our crust. So an apple pie, of course, has a crust. Now we're gonna make it low carb. So we're gonna use almond flour. You could use like a gluten-free flour. I wouldn't use coconut flour because coconut flour is very, very drying. So I wouldn't do that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and melt the butter. I'm just gonna kind of soften it. It's just like a little tablespoon of butter. And we're going to do some almond flour. You can add a little bit of sweetener because almond flour is obviously not sweet at all. <laughs> okay, so this is what it's gonna look like. Almost think of like wet sand. This is a texture we're looking for. Press it in, make sure it covers the bottom. So I'm just gonna use my finger so that it actually looks like a little crust. This is just like literally the perfect individual sized apple pie. No sharing involved in this. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and cook that. Now, I don't know about you, I love apple pie with um, ice cream vanilla ice cream on top when the apple pie filling is just like super hot. I think it just like melts it and then it falls all in there and oh my gosh. It's just, to me, it's the way to go. Everything with ice cream to me tastes just better. The fact that you can actually make this in the microwave, I feel like it's just so convenient for those days where you're just like, I want dessert and I want it to be super good and I don't want to take a lot of time. 
There you go. <laughs> we have a little crust. Okay, so that's our pie crust. And look at how nice and thick. We're gonna pour that right on top of our crust. This is gonna make your whole house smell phenom. Apple pie usually has like the, what it's called, lacing or whatever on the top. Um, so I'm gonna do a crumble, which I just have a little bit of cinnamon, sweetener, some almond flour, some butter. I'm gonna add a little bit more almond flour. I'm gonna toss this into the microwave really quickly. And this is gonna be like a crumble. Almost think like an apple crisp, you know what I mean? But do you need this? No, I just want it so that it looks pretty on top. You want it to look like the real deal. So that'll be done, 30 seconds. As you can tell, dessert makes me really happy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just sprinkle this right on top. Mm. It took 90 seconds to make our crust. This is apple pie, 100%. Like you would never in a million years think that this was made in the microwave. Like we have crust, we have the apple pie filling, a crumble, and then top it off with ice cream. Look at this. Look at that. We have the crust, the filling, the crumble, and the ice cream. Cheers. <laughs> this is insanity. Mmm. This is apple pie. I'm telling you, from the crust, the flavor, just to be sure, just to be sure, because you know, sometimes we make mistakes. Just to be sure. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is apple pie. This is a legit, like 20 out of 10. So good. Texture profile hits every angle. This is the best way to make it. Why? Because it tastes just like the real deal. This tastes like, this tastes like apple pie. I'm gonna leave the recipe in the description below. Once you make it, come back, comment down below, let me know your honest opinion. I love going through your comments. I love when you guys make my recipes. Please share my channel. If you haven't subscribed to it, please go do so. Hit that little bell icon so that you're reminded every time I post a video. But guys, thanks so much for being here. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.